When you're a public figure on social media, you should be extra careful about what you say and do. And when it comes to when you are associated with a particular company, you should also be careful what you say about other companies in your own industry. So we're going to cover some examples of what I think not to do. Hello, Board Game Shenanigans here. So to start this video, just going to cover a bit of a background on the topic of the day. And it will start here with uh, Patrick Leader. So if you don't know who Patrick Leader is, he is, as it clearly states, the owner and CEO of Leader Games. And he's been the topic of discussion here because he made a bit of a viral tweet or whatever they call them on X these days. But that's what he did. He made a post. and I'm going to cover that and a few of the things he said. I'm going to cover this in chronological order. So when it comes to leader games, leader games are mainly known by their game Root. But they also made all these other games with like four letters like Oath and Vast and uh, Arcs is the one that's going to come out next. So they are quite a well-known board game publisher. They call themselves an indie publisher and they make board games and that's their general thing and they have this this account for the main company and then the CEO Patrick has his own a personal account where he tweets out other things so this account primarily just covers things like ads and um, have, like people talking about their games things like that and maybe a few things they're doing in the office type of thing that's the gist of this account but his personal account he posts more personal things and rants and things and other things he says so to start, he made this initial tweet, and this one didn't get too much engagement on um, the platform, but he made, so are we just screwed on Darkest Dungeon and Monster Apocalypse from Mythic Games? Question mark. So initially saying he has backed these two games from Mythic Games, and he hasn't, he's going to get a hold of them. And if you don't know about Mythic Games, Mythic Games kind of bit off more than they could chew and they made so many different kickstart campaigns and they cannot ship and deliver all of them they are really down in like the badness of being a board game company really they're not um uh, doing so well they keep asking for more money from their uh backers and darkest dungeon like wave two will show up at some point monster apocalypse apocalypse is a lot more down the line so that's the gist of Mythic Games. So anyone who's backed their games, they are really like annoyed with them. They don't want to back their games again. They just want their games in the hand, but they keep asking for more money. So anyone who's in that situation, it's understandable to have an emotion about it. And Patrick Leader is one of those people. He's having an emotional attack on Mythic Games because then he follows up with this next tweet, which went a bit bit viral within the board gaming space it got about twenty-eight thousand views almost 226 likes many retweets and people responding interacting with him on this tweet and you can sit and read it on your own but he made this initial part of it at the beginning mythic games sent me two ads yesterday for a game they are bringing to crowdfunding soon and when he made this statement here most people i think would say they are not bringing another game to it crowdfunding because they can't do that no one would back it every other backer of their games are waiting they wouldn't make any money and that is the case it is an unbelievable statement because he says i cannot believe the unmitigated goal this maneuver is required this maneuver required well yeah it, it would be a goal it would be the goal to do that but they haven't actually done that so he's made a statement about another company as a CEO and owner of his own company that is an actual absolute fabrication. There is no new crowdfunding game coming from Mythic Games. And we'll go into how he's kind of backtracked on that now. But they said they failed to send so many backers half the items for Dark's Dungeon and so far no items for Six Siege or Monster Apocalypse. So he's stating again the ones he's backed. But that's not even the only games missing. There's Anastia and Hell and... Loads of other stuff that they just haven't done, like Wave 2s of some campaigns as well. Like They've got a lot to follow up on. And he, he goes in and rambles saying, um, you know, there's so much money on people. Enough's enough, you've got to do this. And then they, he makes a statement here to say, he tags in GameFound, Backerkit, Kickstarter, and then the wrong Mythic Games Twitter account. So that's a big mistake there. He shouldn't be 
a tagging in a Ma- Magic the Gathering store because he's annoyed at the game. He should have tagged the right account, but he made a mistake there and he admits that later on. But again, making a big public statement and a show about it like this, you need to get everything right. You can't just get the facts wrong and already you know tagged the wrong account and already said that, yeah, they're going to bring a new account for a crowdfunding game, but they're not. So he made two mistakes here and then he goes, we can't, he wants to kick them off the platforms they're on. And even then, does it, is it a good thing for a company of a CEO of another company to kick out to say we can't have Mythic Games putting any more campaigns up? And I know that they're they're only in a bad position, but there are other companies that put more campaigns up and more campaigns up and haven't been kicked off. Mythic Games is just a public one where we know that they're having financial difficulties and taking a long time to get all the games out the door. So with that, I would say they could put a block on them, but I don't think that should be for other publishers to decide. So then after this, he comes down here and does another follow-up tweet saying, tagging all the different companies associated with Mythic Games, like the Darkest Dungeon video game, and says, this is your brand too, I'm not blaming you for what happened, but you need to protect your brand. So he's doing this, like calling out all the different people associated and all the different crowdfunding platforms to say, you know, Mythic Games need to be stopped from putting a new campaign out there. But he's kind of made it up of in his head really that there's a new campaign coming when actually that's not the case they've not said that they're doing a new campaign and we'll go into that next but he does follow up again and says correct actually sorry i put the wrong twitter account which he did follow that up there and fix that but you know you shouldn't be tagging these things wrong if you, you should double check i know it's a different name but it's just something you should you know double check before you hit that post button really um not just that, but we have other people chiming in. So we have like Restoration Games um, stating that something's on GameFound. So like they're kind of like following up saying there is a campaign as well. There's no point saying that because like most of their campaigns have been on Kickstarter for Mythic Games. It's not like they've put a new one on Game GameFound at all. They just have the pledge manager for that. So again, it's like people are like believing what he's kind of saying here, saying he's being truthful and there is a crowdfunding campaign coming. But there was, there isn't, and he goes into that finally and says, I jumped to the wrong conclusion and I'll eat crow tomorrow with a retweet. But I think that's the wrong thing to do. What you should be doing is just deleting all these tweets and make one more tweet saying, hey, I got it all wrong about Mythic Games. Um, I'm still annoyed about them not shipping my games to me and I'll leave it at that. But they're not doing a new crowdfunding campaign. They're done. That's all he had to say. But he still left all these tweets out. He's still getting the engagement. He's still getting likes and retweets of things that are just lies. They're not true. And, you know, you can rag on uh, Mythic Games all you want. You know, they have done wrong in the industry. They have put too many campaigns out there and were just making campaigns and campaigns just to try and get people's money. And then when it all comes to the wall, they're like, actually, we don't have enough to make all these games. We're going to put them all on hiatus. That is a wrong thing to do in the industry, and most people will agree that. But you shouldn't still lie about them and say, oh, they've got another campaign coming, and then make a big statement about it on your personal social media account. And then it goes, it looks like they're selling off an inventory of a game called Steam Retreat, which I know that's a spelling mistake there, but you should at least get that right too, but he didn't. But maybe he was just rushing before he stopped or whatever. At the end of the day, maybe he was going to bed. But at the end of the day, he said that it's it's actually talking about what well, I think it's Steam Watchers, which is another game that um, they already made and shipped out, and that's one of the last ones they actually fulfilled completely. Uh, he says, "I'm still I'm still um, not good that they're trying to sell me more games." Well, this is the point with Mythic Games; they are at the point where they have to make the money or they're not going to ship the games out. So they're either going to beg for more money from the backers they've already got or they've got to sell new product. That's the only options they've got to try and stay afloat. Or they get a donor to give them loads of money for free, which is even more unlikely than the first two things happening. Uh, but you go, he says, I'll write more tomorrow. And that's tomorrow as in today, but hasn't done that yet. I made a mistake. It had looked like a crowdfunding announcement, but they were just sending all, selling old inventory of an older game, which he should have known and looked that up before he decided to start running his mouth online because you can't just lie about things online and then go, oh, actually, I got it wrong. And he says, I'm still not happy, but they built their mailing list with people they have a liability to. Well, if you back someone 
you're kind of on the mailing list because you know you've got your email you're on the kickstarter you've you've got their email because they do send kickstarter does that with every campaign back another project by this company and things like that so it's quite easy for them to send out information to their um people who back their games and he probably he could be on a newsletter list too you know we don't know exactly he's just saying that but he didn't delete the original tweet here but you know this one's only got 1500 views his correction doesn't have the engagement of the original tweet so the original tweet bloviating and saying this is what's happened mythic games are funding another game this needs to stop now that's got all the clicks and people have been seeing that sharing it around but it's complete fabrication what you should have done at that point is delete this tweet and make a new tweet correcting himself quickly just a sentence and if he wants to write more about it tomorrow do it but he he made the time to make a, another quote tweet of himself which no one is seeing so he's completely you know dropped the ball here and made a poor decision for himself and it he is himself he's represented himself but because he is the ceo of a major board gaming company he should you know be more responsible what he says and you know just to make sure you know what you're talking about here steam watchers is a game that they are selling still on their store and that i think this is the game he is talking about and you know they are selling off this stock because they're not going to make any more they just got to sell it off to make the money when it's gone it's gone that's what they are doing and that's perfectly reasonable to do for mythic games they need to make some more money people can buy this they get the money i think that's fine you know i don't support them going oh we need a third wave of shipping from everyone but you know, I do support them. Let's sell more stock of what they've already got made because they need to make some money. And, you know, if they can ship these out now, that's fine, right? But with Steam Watchers in particular, they don't own this anymore. This is the last they can do with it. They already sold off games to make money because another way they made money is they sold Steam Watchers off to Simon last December. So when it comes to the stock that's left, they can't produce it more because they've lost the IP. It's gone sort of straight to Simon. So there's nothing wrong with them sending some emails out asking to people to buy the rest of what they've got. That's perfectly well fine and in well intended for them. They need the money. They can do that. But, you know, Patrick here has just made a complete, you know, mess of himself just saying, you know, all this, maybe this big rant about it. But he should have at least, you know, got his facts right and just said, you know, I'm really annoyed at you know, Mythic Games, which he has his right to as someone who bought from them, but he shouldn't use his, you know, his own clout, his own personal Twitter account to vent this and just share things that are actually factually incorrect. That's just not the right way to go about this. And it gets me to thinking, is there like an ulterior motive here? Is he saying more than he would? Is he selling like a snake oil here? Because he's saying, oh, I'm so annoyed at this company, but it's actually because he's in direct competition with other board game companies and he just talks bad about them just to make him like seem a better company you know i'm the good company come and buy my games but everyone else if they say something he doesn't like he calls them out and then he has to you know try and defend himself here on his twitter account but he just he still is there an ulterior motive just to you know of a bit of marketing here because this is not the only game he's done this with and i just put, provide a few more recent examples uh, when it came to the AI art for Terraforming Mars, he decided to make a public statement about this as well. And I think so did other people working for Leader Games. And he said, when they used clip art in previous versions of the game, I turned up my nose and just played. I'm astounded at what they found a way to make the situation worse. But here we are. Please don't support this malarkey. So he made a direct tweet saying, do not support the newest terraforming mars expansion because of ai art so he made a public statement about this game so we've seen him go he's an issue i have with mythic games he's an issue he has with terraforming mars and all the companies associated with that game and he makes his post online about this is it to do with business you know he's a board game publisher they're board game publishers he's just talking bad about them because of that reason or does he actually believe everything he's pushing? It's really up for debate because, you know, anyone can say anything online and you can't believe half of what people say. And then there's another one. 
And you might think, well, he's going for Terraform in Mars. He's going for Mythic Games. These are bigger companies than his own. He's punching up and he's, he's allowed to do that, right? If you actually agree with what he says and say he's allowed to say it and think it's a good idea for him to talk like this online. But then he goes to the next level. There's another game, uh, Theme Park Mania. It's currently on Kickstarter being crowdfunded. And this is from another account I think we saw before in a previous video, Board Game Feast. Yet more AI sludge on Kickstarter. The sad thing is the original vision of Kickstarter should be for smaller creators like this to fulfill their dream without a complete project up front. But the contentification of the market forces them to rush out generic art slurry like this. So they make a game, Theme Park Mania. It's just a cover. They've used a bit of AI art somewhere in this, but that's what they say. Yeah, some more here, some more pictures. Is there anything wrong with that on first glance? I don't think so. And then they say they made their AI art statement in the campaign. It says, most of the games designed by hand, we use the assistance of AI to draw some illustrative art of the uh, Fried's facilities and cards for us. And, you know, that's a fair statement to make. They're making a game. And then what else do they say in the comments? Well, they say, we're a two-person company and we've put 1,600 hours into making this game. AI, it's been really helpful. But for some people, that's not good enough. You know, this is a small creator, an indie publisher, like a leader games, you would say. I would say smaller company. So they're not allowed to use it either. So the old argument of, you know, Terraforming Mars is such a big game, they can't, you can't use AI art, they need to pay people. This one, a two-person team, no, no, you can't use AI art either, right? Every, you, everyone's got to use an artist, right? No, that's the problem with these people. You have to, they keep changing the goalposts. First, it was such a big company, they can't use it. Now it's, well, this company's a small company, but they can't use it either. So they just want no one to use it, that's all. And just to follow up, what it was, Patrick Leader chimes in. So someone says... I like Ball Games Depox, try these ones. And he comes, I was going to hold me a fun of this project until I learned about this. Combined with the first and fourth cover of these two below, it's the similar palette to boot. So he's saying, because it looks like other games similar to it, where they all look very similar, that's that's the problem with this new one. You know, it looks too similar. And then he chimes in again. Derivative all the way down, at least they had the foresight to hide the hands. And they go, yeah, it'll be fair to everyone about the colours they're trying to invoke, early video games in the genre. So he makes a comment about this game saying, well, this is the wrong way to do it either because he doesn't like AI art, right? So now we've got to go for smaller companies and say public statements about them and why they're wrong. And just to cover that campaign, you know, it is a small campaign, you know. They shouldn't really be talking bad about companies that are smaller than like this, you know. 70,000 euros, 60,000 pounds. It's done well all right in their game. They're allowed to make a game that they want. It doesn't look bad. You can't really tell by the AI in general. It's just they've used the tool in ways that they say at the end of the campaign, just like Terraforming Mars did. We use it by hand and we used AI for assistance. Is that a problem? Well, for these guys it is. And for leader games it is but that's their competitor so they're going after their competitors and it's just not fair to do that online and use your public um, platform to do this and just another case about mythic games a funny thing the last thing they tweeted was back in may and it was about how they can use ai to make board games so is it another step on this is it because everyone he's out after and against he's they're all just ai uh, pro ai companies in some way so now he's got to make public statements about that and just say they're wrong is this another thing that's piled on along with the shipping is it because oh ai is bad and they're doing ai as well is that a problem for him is that a problem for leader games you know mythic games they've got so many games to fulfill just to make sure you know you know not coming yet not coming yet it is coming at some point soon, but you got to pay more shipping. you got to pay more shipping for Wave 2. Hell's nowhere near. It's miles away. And then Steam Watchers, it did ship out, but they've sold it off. Same with Enchanters and other games. They've sold them all off to other companies just to stay afloat. So I think it's a good lesson to think about, really. It's like people make statements online 
because they, you know, they're entitled to. They're their own person. They can say anything they want. But, you know, when you're directly associated with your own company and then you're attacking other companies for what they do, it, it's like an ulterior motive there, really, isn't it? It's about, you know, I'm bigging up my business and shutting everyone else down. You know, no one else can do it right. I'm the only person that does it right. If you did an AI art, you know, it's malarkey. You don't need to support it, right? That's what people have been saying. And, you know, they can be anyone. They can be an artist. They can be a CEO. They can be an entire company like we saw Restoration Games making a point. There's whole companies where they are associating their company with their own social media account and then making statements, which I just think is just dangerous. They're making poor decisions. You know, why did this tweet stay up? Delete this tweet, remove it from the Internet and say, make a new statement, I made it completely wrong, they're not making a crowdfunding campaign, I may put misinformation out there, but because ball game is such a small space on uh, Twitter, it's like, it doesn't get the community notes like another lie would, it doesn't have anyone to correct it, but it's just standing unopposed until he deletes it, or actually it's another statement, but then again, this one got the most engagement, will his new tweet get more engagement? Probably not. So the lie is out there, and people are just going to believe it, until the cows come home at this point. So that was just a little bit of a rant there about this. Um, thanks for listening, if you listen through. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you think there's anything else to cover um, about the industry and things like this, uh, let me know. And when it comes to Leader Games, I don't have any issue with the company. I don't have an issue with Mr. Leader himself. He, you know, He can say what he wants on his own social media. I don't have a problem. I believe in freedom of speech. So he can do that. He can have his own statements. But I don't think it's a good look for what he does if he talks about other companies and then says, don't do this with this company and tries to, you know, finger wag at them. I think that's not a good thing. But he's allowed to do it, of course. And also when it comes to uh, his games, you know, I'm not sure myself. I don't really play any of these type of games. Uh, maybe I try one. It's not the end of the world for me. It's just... You know, he can have his games. It's not something that wouldn't let me make me want to play a game. Neither would AI or, you know, both are both acceptable in my eyes anyway. So thank you very much for listening. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.